Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine has officially arrived in Minnesota. Minnesota Sanford Health Medical Center and Indian Health Services have received their first round of doses and vaccinations are underway. Reporter Betsy Moline has more. Around 8 a.m. this morning, vaccines landed at Cass Lake Hospital. For Indian Health Services, they were able to immediately begin vaccinating. Uh, we want to, obviously it's important to distribute it as quick as possible. It's been a long wait, long time coming. Um, Indian Health Service uh, uh, in Bemidji Area IHS has been preparing uh, for many weeks, training, training staff. They vaccinated 10 people total today, five elders and five health care workers. Throughout all of Indian Health Services, they received nearly 1,000 vials for the tribes. Received 975 vials. Uh, each vial has five doses. And uh, so doing the math, um, we'll distribute that equitably amongst all 34 tribes. It was an exciting moment for the IHS to begin their vaccinations, and they expect to continue with further vaccinations tomorrow at White Earth. I'm grateful to IHS that they could host this event. I'm grateful for all those who uh, had the courage to take the vaccine today, and we will uh, continue to do so. At Sanford Health of Bemidji, vaccines also arrived early this morning. Their box came equipped with a tracker that monitors not only temperature, but also location to ensure the vaccines are arriving at the right place. Although the vaccine did arrive today, vaccinations won't begin until sometime next week following the state releasing further education. And materials to, um, to educate uh, before we start giving the vaccine. So statewide in Minnesota, um, it looks like next Monday will be the first um, vaccination. 975 doses were delivered today. Using the hub and spoke model, not all of those doses will stay in Bemidji. Around 700 will stay within Sanford. We're really excited because we got the vaccine for not only um, Bemidji, but also um, 11 other um, locations as well. The COVID vaccine varies from others as it requires two doses over a period of time. And it has to be given a minimum of 21 days apart. Um, there's other vaccines um, that haven't been approved yet um, that also are two-dose vaccines. Um, I believe some of them are more like 28 days. The second shipment for Sanford Bemidji is planned between now and Wednesday of this week. Reporting in Bemidji, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. Sanford Health officials say the public should not call their clinic to request a vaccine. Distribution of the vaccine will be based on the government's rollout of priority groups and is not something within the control of local health systems. Well, vaccines are expected to be delivered to 636 predetermined locations nationwide within the next 24 hours. The governor was on hand in Minneapolis today to greet a FedEx truck as it backed up to the loading dock at the Minneapolis VA, carrying what is believed to be the first shipment of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine in Minnesota. This is the very first one as far as we know, but it will be happening now. This is the one that they landed from FedEx. FedEx picked it up from their facility. They moved it out. I wanted to watch with the driver, the tracking of it. They checked to make sure that it translated the whole way under temperature, which it did. It met those protocols. We had run practice runs on this a few weeks ago, but this one actually has the vaccine in it, and it's here, it's safe, and it's ready to go. And the Minnesota Department of Health has announced a new COVID-19 testing site in Brainerd. Testing will take place at Central Lakes College Thursday, December 17th through Saturday, December 19th. The nasal swabbing site has the capacity for 480 tests per day. Testing is open to anyone who thinks they need a test with or without insurance. Appointments are not required, but are strongly encouraged. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.